what's happening guys back at you with the nerf video so in this video we're going to be taking a look at the official teaser trailer for team wolf the movie so team wolf um was a pretty good show that i watched um that was on mtv uh had like a six season run and it got really you know um a lot of fan recognition um and a lot of fans were clamoring for it to come back and they decided to go ahead and make a movie for the the series since it's been gone for a couple years now and a lot of fans were like you know we want to come back we won our season or something like that so in the end they decided to go ahead and make a movie and we finally got a official teaser trailer for it so I'll be taking a look at it and i'll get my thoughts on it afterwards Is that the Oni? Against him. That's definitely it. Looks like them. Everyone he loves. That sounds like the the Nagitsune. I forgot how to say it. Nagitsune. Set me free. Sounds so much like him. Set me free. And we will play a new game. A game of chaos. Strife. That must be him. He's already saying the words game, chaos, strife. That's all the words he was using. And that definitely looks like the Oni there. She's alive. She's back. She's back? What? What? How, how's, how is she back? How the hell is she back? What the hell? How in the hell is Allison back? I, I don't know. Oh my goodness. Okay. Alright, so I might get into some spoiler territory a little bit. If you were planning on watching this series and don't want to hear spoilers for the series, definitely don't watch these next parts because I got to talk about this real quick. Alright, so for those of y'all that actually seen the series, Allison died or was killed in Season 3 of the series. And uh, during that season, they were dealing with like the, the Nagitsune. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, the Oni and all that stuff, and I think it's possibility that he returned, or at least a form of him returns, and it gets in a returns. That sounded so much like him, and then the words that there he was using, and there's like we play a game of uh chaos and strife and pain, is a lot of the stuff that he it was definitely definitely a similar and very alike to some of the stuff he'll say in the season three, at least um that he will say some of that stuff, you know, and you know, the Oni was in there. That's def that definitely looked like the Oni and just hit, it sounded like him, the words he was using. Um, so it's definitely a possibility it could be a return. And that's definitely interesting. I gotta say that was, um, one of the most, uh, that's probably one of the, one of the best seasons, um, really dealing with that stuff. Cause also too, um, Dylan O'Brien, which as far as I know, he's not coming back. I wish he, I wish he would come back, but he's not coming back as far as I know in this movie. Uh, Dylan O'Brien played such a tremendous part in that season. He, you know, pretty much was acting as the villain for the most part. Well, he's like sort of uh, possessed, almost, uh, almost uh, really, and you know, he just basically was like playing the villain, and he did such an amazing job with that that role during that season, playing the villain and stuff like that. Uh, but like, like I was saying, Allison died in that season, season three, she was killed during that season. And I don't, how is she back? I'm like, how is she, I don't even know. How is she back? I don't know. This is definitely going to be weird. Um, uh, I don't know. Oh, let me read the synopsis real quick on this. Says a terrifying new evil has emerged in Beacon Hills, calling for a return of Alpha Werewolf Scott McCall to once again reunite the Banshees, Were Coyotes, Howl Hounds, Kitsunes, and other shapeshifters of the night. 
with new allies and trusted friends like Derek Hale and Lydia Martin, Jackson Whitmore, um, Malia Tate and the return of long lost love, Scott and his pack just might stand a chance. Alright, so that pretty much confirms that Allison is coming back. She's returning. Uh, that's the long lost love thing, whatever part. Uh, but as far as I know, it looks like the, um, you know, I've been keeping track of some of the updates too. So, and the, basically a lot of the cast is coming back from the series. A lot of the cast is coming back from the series and all that. Uh, I know that, uh, Derek Hale is supposed to have a son in this movie also. Um, so it's going to be interesting. I cannot wait for it. It's going to be streaming on Paramount Plus. Um, it says streaming soon. I don't know. So maybe in a couple months or so, maybe possibly. Uh, I think they just wrapped filming on that. Or they, you know, they wrapped filming on it a little bit ago. So streaming soon. Um, could be within a couple months, probably. Maybe. Uh, but I guess we just got to wait and see when they do officially drop that date for it. But uh, I, for one, cannot wait for it. I definitely will be checking out this movie and seeing what goes on with this. But man, I don't know what's going to be going on. I really don't know what's going to be on. The shocker of um, Allison returning is quite the stinger for the ending. Uh, just for a teaser trailer, really, too. Um, so I don't know what's going to go on. Honestly, I don't know. But I'm definitely excited for it. Teen, show, uh, Teen Wolf was one of my favorite series to watch. Um so, I definitely cannot wait for this movie. And I'm definitely excited for it and cannot wait to see it. But uh, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below and what you think of uh, this teaser trailer and if you watched the show uh, back when it was on MTV. Uh, but that's going to do it for this video. hope you all enjoyed it. Remember, if you want to be a part of Team Legendary, all you got to do is subscribe and turn notifications on so you know when I post another video. Hope you all have an awesome day. And remember, be legendary.